Okay, we're going to cover two types of reactions in this video because I want you to not get them confused. Um, you'll see that the next section on your note taking sheet, if you're using it, um, is this section called decomposition types. So binary, chlorate, carbonate, and hydroxide, all four of these are types of decomposition reaction. They're like subcategories. What they all have in common is that in order for something to decompose, we will have the keyword of is heated. That's different than burned. Remember you learned in a previous video that burned meant combustion. Heated is something different. So anytime it says is heated, we know it's some kind of decomposition. And decomposition, if you think about what that word means, when something decomposes like in the ground or in the landfill, even though things generally don't decompose in landfills, take Enviro if that interests you. Um, decomposing means things are breaking down. So in chem, that's gonna mean that they are breaking apart. So all decomposition, it's one compound that breaks apart. So the most basic form of that is binary decomposition. And that's where it breaks apart specifically into the pure elements that formed it. It'll feel exactly the opposite of synthesis. So we'll have a compound that there's an arrow. We're not adding anything to it. We're just breaking it down with heat that breaks apart into A and B. And the A and B that I am breaking it apart into, those are elements not ions. So that means since they're not ions, we won't be showing charges on the right hand side. We'll have to use the charges on the left to figure out how that compound comes together. But on the right hand side, there will be no charges. There could be diatomics though. Okay, so for example, um, if I said lithium oxide is heated. So to figure out what lithium oxide is, I need to look at their charges and crisscross. So for lithium oxide, I get Li2O. Is heated tells me it's decomposition, which means I just straight away go to an arrow and I'm gonna break it down into its pure elements, lithium and oxygen. I don't carry any subscripts over. I'll figure that out when I balance, um, but I do need to check for diatomics since these are pure elements. So lithium, not a diatomic. Oxygen is, so it needs a two. Um, now I balance two lithiums on the left, so I need a two here. Only one oxygen on the left, but two on the right. So actually I'm gonna erase that two that I just wrote for the lithium because I'm gonna need a two there to balance my oxygen. So I end up with four lithiums on the left and I need four lithiums on the right. Um, I want to come back to all these other types of decompositions in another video, in the next video. So the rest of these as well, let me change color. The rest of these as well are still types of decomposition. There'll still be one compound breaking apart and we will still know that they're being heated. How they break apart is just a little bit different. We'll come back to those in the next video. Um, what I want you to see is this other type of reaction, notice it's bold, it's a whole new category here. Um, it is not a decomposition, it's dissociation or dissolving. There's actually a slight difference in the definition of those two things, but for most of our class, we're gonna assume they're the same thing. So dissociation or dissolving reactions will feel a lot like a decomposition. It happens when you place an ionic compound in water, It will split apart. That's why it feels like a decomposition. We're still breaking it apart. But it splits apart into its ions. So just like I said in the, in the decomposition section, it splits apart into its elements, not its ions. So we didn't use charges. Here it will split apart into its ions. We will use charges. Diatomics don't apply. It's no longer the pure element. So we wouldn't consider diatomics. Um, an example of that, if I said sodium chloride 
is put in water. Maybe I would say it's put in water. Maybe I would say it's dissolved. Those are your key words there. Um, I first have to figure out what sodium chloride is. So sodium is a plus one, chlorine is a minus one. So crisscrossing, sodium chloride is NaCl. I don't show the water in the reaction. The water is just what makes this reaction happen. Just like in decomposition, the heat is what makes the reaction happen, but it, it's not shown anywhere. I put, the NaC in, in, I put the NaCl in water and it breaks apart into its ions. Now, because of how I show my work, I already have this scratch here that I know what the ions are. So I'm showing Na, Na with a plus one charge plus Cl with a minus one. The ones are actually optional, they're implied, um, but you need to say at least plus or minus, and that one happens to be balanced. You'll notice I did not give the chlorine a two. It's not a pure element once it's an ion with a charge like that. Okay, go try.